Hey, Brian Cross here with the Park Ridge History Center. And this summer, you may have seen fire trucks displayed all across Park Ridge. And there's good reason for that. Fire Trucks on Parade is a public art project in partnership with Stroll Park Ridge Magazine. And this was 10 fire trucks made of fiberglass, sponsored by 10 local businesses and painted by local artists depicting scenes and history of Park Ridge. Now, as luck would have it, you have the opportunity between October 1st and 8th to bid on a fire truck that you could place at your home or at your business. Now, if you want to learn a little bit more about the auction, please visit our website at parkridgehistorycenter.org. Now, before we talk any more about the auction, I wanted to take a few moments to tell you a little bit about the fire trucks, their history, about our sponsors and some of the artists. Let's start with the fire truck displayed at the Park Ridge History Center. The Park Ridge History Center is in Solomon Cottage. In 1908, Solomon Cottage was the first building constructed on the Illinois Industrial School for Girls Park Ridge Campus. The campus is now home to Prospect Park and Solomon Cottage is on the National Register of Historic Places. Adding to the history of Prospect Park is the Sunny Gate. Recently restored, the Sunny Gate is now a feature of the park located in front of Wallers Hall. Check out the History Center's website to learn more about the park. Sponsorship of this truck is by the Park Ridge Historical Society Board of Trustees. Its painter is Aiden Gentile, a junior at the University of Wisconsin at Milwaukee, majoring in film. Aiden is a Park Ridge native who attended Roosevelt Elementary, Lincoln Middle School, and Maine South. He often films events in our community, like the parent play at Field School. Stationed in Hodges Park, we visit our next fire truck. Hodges Park is home to the historic Campfire Girls Fountain. In 2007, the Park Ridge Heritage Community coordinated the fountain's restoration and added a ring of milestones that highlight essential points in our city's history. We want to thank sponsor Sioux Hall with that properties. Artist Mark Zimmerman jumped at the chance to be a fire truck artist using a retro design for the Hodges Park fire truck. Mark lives in Park Ridge, and you can find him at Kiko's Flowers, which his parents own. In 1913, the first Park Ridge Public Library opened at the corner of Tui, Prospect, and Northwest Highway. The Carnegie Foundation provided funds for constructing the first library, which still stands today. In 1958, a new library was built across the street at 20 South Prospect Avenue. Talking about books, the most recent book on Park Ridge history is Park Ridge, Milestones of History by Milton E. Nelson. Copies are available for purchase at the Park Ridge History Center. A special thanks to sponsor Kiki Calumet of A&N Mortgage for bringing this to life. Not quite as local of an artist, Elena McKim lives in Kenosha, Wisconsin. She's a sophomore at the University of Wisconsin at Milwaukee and is majoring in art education. She's a friend of Aiden Gentile, mentioned earlier, who jumped at the chance to paint a fire truck showcasing the library. She undoubtedly will make a great art teacher after graduation. Parked at Trader Joe's, we learn about the naming of Park Ridge. Our city has had three names, Pennyville in 1854, Brickton in 1857, and officially became the current name of Park Ridge in 1873. Sponsorship by Maurice Longo and Associates, Attorneys at Law, brought this truck to life. Artist Miranda Randall graduated from Columbia College in Chicago with a major in fine arts. She's working towards a degree from North Park University in art education to teach art. Miranda also painted the truck camped at the Park Ridge train station. Park Ridge's vertical cement pillar street signs are unique and have been a fixture in town for many generations. Lots of our streets bear the names of early Park Ridge settlers. Thank you, Don Wands Cantina, for the sponsorship and giving Miranda the chance to bring this truck to life. Being showcased in front of Triple Scooped Ice Cream Shop made this a popular truck with kids. The Park Ridge Historical Society owns the original 1934 Persh fire truck that once belonged to the Park Ridge Fire Department. There is currently a fundraising effort to restore the truck to be part of our community celebrations again. To learn more, go to parkridgefiretruck.com. Thanks to sponsors Allison and Dave Blum of the Blum Group Dreamtown. Artist Kathy Hurley is an active Park Ridge resident and an art teacher at Franklin School. 
You might even run into Kathy teaching art classes at Kalo Studio during the summer. Set in front of Starbucks is the Artist of Park Ridge truck. Park Ridge has been home of many famous artists and artisans, including Alfonso Ionelli, Grant Wood, Albert Henry Kreeble, and many artists from the Kalo Arts community. Thank you, Mario DiLorenzo of Keller Williams One Chicago for the sponsorship. Kathy Hurley, mentioned earlier, painted this truck along with her husband, Peter Hurley, and friend, Marianne Tunnel. Placed in front of St. Paul of the Cross is where you could have found this fire truck. St. Francis Xavier Cabrini, also known as Mother Cabrini, lived on a farm in Park Ridge for a time. The farm produced food that ultimately helped feed the poor that Mother Cabrini served. Many thanks to Resurrection College Prep High School for sponsoring such a great truck. Jill Pinsky is a very talented artist, and you see it with the many details she added to the Mother Cabrini fire truck. Jill grew up in Park Ridge, and when not painting, you'll likely meet her at the Jewel on Bossy where she works. You can find this truck housed at Prospect Avenue and Main Street. The Pickwick Theater is a Park Ridge landmark known across the greater Chicagoland area. Built in 1928, the Pickwick is on the National Register of Historic Places. It's impossible to pass our historic theater and not appreciate its incredible Art Deco design. Thank you, Seattle Sutton of Park Ridge, for proudly sponsoring this truck. Artist Abby Pinkerton's talent shines through as she captures the Pickwick Theater in fire truck form. If you head to Tulula's on Fairview, you'll find Abby's artwork on display. Another extra popular stop for kids is the Centennial Park Fire Truck. The town of Maine Cemetery at the corner of Tui Avenue and D Road contains the graves of many notable citizens that built Park Ridge. Every September, the Historical Society sponsors the Spirits of Old Park Ridge Tour, featuring local actors depicting the spirits of our early citizens. A big thanks to Lou Malnati's Pizzeria for your sponsorship. Michelle Krause is an active Park Ridge Historical Society member, a Girl Scout leader, a mother of three, and can be found volunteering around Washington Elementary. She has a lifelong love of art and went to school for interior architecture at Columbia College in Chicago. I hope you enjoyed today's presentation, learned a little bit more about Park Ridge. If you want to learn more about the History Center, or if you want to participate in the auction, check out our website at parkridgehistorycenter.org, or you can find us on Facebook. And of course, if you're watching this video on YouTube, make sure to like and subscribe. If you ever want to come visit the History Center, we are open on most Saturdays from the hours of 1 to 3.